do this. To reset this or run diagnostics on this machine, I'm going to take it to 12 o'clock. I'm going to go around one time. So once I'm around one time, I'm going to go left, right, 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 three times, left, right, and then you're going to see all the lights come on, or most of them come on on the bottom. Now I'll go right, right, and we're trying to go down to the final rinse mode. Now I'll press start. This is going to go through a diagnostics as well as reset this machine to the factory default. If you add any kind of new parts to a lot of these types of computerized appliances or whatever, you're going to have to go back to default and let it know that it has a new part and this part works. Now I tried a different code that I found, but I think it was for Whirlpool, but I know that Whirlpool owes this company as well and they have similar parts. So for other ones, Here's how I did that. I went up to 12 o'clock and I went around twice. And then follow the instructions here. And this may work on your washing machine. Because you want to try this to reset it, especially I'm thinking here because it got knocked around. So it just set something off balance. But I did buy that pump just in case. But now it says cycle complete. So now if I opened it up and I tried this, and when I opened it up, all the water was gone.